Well, last week we brought you the scandalous news that oh, Bunnings is shaking up its sausage sandwiches to put onions on the bottom. Well, Bunnings say it's for safety reasons, so the onions don't fall off and create a slipping hazard. Yeah, but plenty of people are not, not happy, happy about Jan. this. In fact, thousands have joined social media group throwing your onion on the ground at Bunnings, then slipping mm. in protest. Yes. So joining us now from Bunnings is Chloe Mason and Sam Thomas. Good morning to you both. Tell us, how did this all start? Oh, you know, we were just chatting one night about how much of a disgrace it was. Yeah. Oh, and we decided that we would make this event because Australia needs to act. They need to know that this is important. This is not something that we can just let slide. Yeah. Slip. Oh, slide. Or slip. <laughs> like, yeah. Slide. Let slide. <laughs> um, anyway, how much support have you had out there? Um, we've had quite a lot. It gained momentum really fast. So we made it at like 9.30 uh, Thursday night last week. Bit of a whim. Um, by Friday afternoon, it had like 20,000 responses. Yeah. Now I think we're sitting at just under 40,000. Wow. Um, it's reached 1.3 million people. Yeah, I know. Social media are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this but just... the event is purely satirical, just saying that. Don't want to get sued. <laughs> But this just... <laughs> but it's also serious. <laughs> this really suggests people do not like anyone meddling with the sausage sandwich, no. doesn't it? I mean, you know, this is... No, this is This is not. national outrage. Chloe, what exactly will you oh. stage at the protest? What's, what's planned? Um, well, look, I mean, it's a very important issue of national culture. This is, a, this is an imperative part of being Australia. You know, you're burning sausage on a Saturday morning. It's, it's just, it's crucial. Um, and we don't, want, we don't want people messing with that. It's, it's important to us. It's, um, this is war. This <laughs> just on a, scale of yeah. one, on a scale of one to ten, how annoying is the stoner to the left of you? <laughs> <laughs> He, he's not on the scale. He's our, he's our number one supporter and he is just yeah. so valuable to us. <laughs> we we couldn't do it without we him. We would be nowhere without him. His boss is intrigued to see him on national television yeah. right now. Does he work for yeah, a bank? He's, he's off to work after this. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah, not, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so look, do, you, do we reckon we can get some clarity here? Because I think the people are speaking and everywhere you go around this great country of ours, they are speaking to, to keep people to stay away from the onions. Um, when do you think you'll have clarity from Bunnings? Any official word from Bunnings themselves? Um, look, I think they've been pretty silent on the issue. Um... Yeah, I think, I think they're biding their time. This is, oh. this is not something you can just go out and make a statement on the spot. They're really thinking through their game plan here, because on one hand, they've got people slipping on onions, which is terrible. But on the other hand, they've got this abomination that is onions underneath the sausage, which just can't just stand. It throws the whole flavour experience out of whack. It's just... Just, just, to, just explain They're the how that... onion. Yeah, just explain how the placement of the onion really changes the whole experience, if you could. Yeah. There's actually grooves in the sausage for the onion placement. You don't always notice it, but when you put them on the bottom, the whole ergonomics of the sanger yeah. is compromised. It is. Mm. And, and they're, they're, they're really like locked in there by the sauce, you know, it's just, I, I reckon these are just like non-sauce eating people and that's yeah. that's an abomination in itself. You just Abysmal. slather it in sauce, that locks them out, it's like glue. Do you know yeah. my issue with Bunnings is, my issue with Bunnings is they've got a problem with people slipping on onions, but they've got no problem with you going in <laughs> to get a light bulb inside Bunnings, but then walking out with $600 later after just buying things that you just don't need. Um, we reached out to Bunnings yeah, again yeah. for a statement, yeah. but they maintain that safety is our number one priority they said and they're confident the new serving suggestion will not impact on the delicious taste of the sandwich but it's a people's revolution out there yeah. and get amongst it well done oh, to you guys mm. we appreciate your absolutely. time absolutely oh you you too Thanks you support us <laughs> couldn't do it without you mm. thank you mm. cheers oh, well man. it's going to be war because clearly bunnings is not budging no um so we'll be yeah. watching we'll be watching this sizzling issue with with great interest and following every development. How annoying is that guy on the left? <laughs> He'd give Panadol a headache, that bug, would he? He's just got trouble with it. I bet you he works for Westpac or something. He'd give Nurofen a migraine. <laughs> Hi there, and thanks for watching. For all the latest from the Today Show, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And for exclusive content, head to todayshow.com.au.